Are these beeps? Whoa! I mean, you can click them. They make all the various sound effects you hear when you touch things in this game. Hey there, everyone! This is Al Cow playing Bee Beep the Bee Beep. Uh, yeah, I just I need to clean up. You know what? I think I'm just gonna put that by the fall. Like it's just like like yeah, keep deforming the landscape, but just then when it affects glitches and whatnot, it just feels so bad. Anyways, hey there, everyone! This is Al Cow playing a game. <laughs> no kidding. Um. Yeah, okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go here, to, I have a goal. Okay, so, things. Things have to be said. Okay, so. Um, I want to solve the po- Okay, first of all, by request, let's put the camera in this mode and see how it goes. Maybe it'll be easier to see things. I don't know about that, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Anyways, so, okay, so I want to solve the mystery of, um, of the thing. Of, 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 of not getting beamed. But more about that right now. So here's the thing. Um, first of all, it was directly confirmed to me that it is possible to do, to avoid beamification. Uh, but however... Uh, I've learned something interesting is that so the game kind of expects you to get beeped and not only that apparently skipping the beebification part of the game uh, actually makes the game slightly harder and like a bit more grindy at some point which honestly I I I don't want to have to grind more than I absolutely have to so, I think that I will, at the end of the day, after I solve the do not get beep puzzle, I think I will reload my original save where I got beep the first time and continue from there. You know what? Yeah, this is a lot easier to see around me, turns out. Oops! But, um, no, no, for real though, I am kind of embarrassed how much easier it is to place myself in the world in this view. It's kind of fascinating. Thank you for the shield. And here I can charge my other thing. It's the one you enter sideways. Oh, but that counted. All right, uh, the magic of technology. But uh, yeah, but this thing is, so like the whole find a way to not go through the beaming process has triggered my La Mulana sense and I do want to see it through. So like that's kind of like my battle plan now is to sol solve the getting a Robux without getting B puzzle. And then when I do that, I will revert to that original save, which you'll notice I never deleted. I did that for a reason. Circumstance. Dominance plus three, by the way. Uh, but yeah. Um, oh yeah, there's just, oh, I think I went past it, right? Uh, compass. Give me the spiral place. Yeah, I did go past it, whoops. See, it's just, okay. Cause yeah, the portal I'm gonna take is like right here. Where did you come from? <laughs> just jumping up from the bridge like that, like some kind of maniac. Like what the hell? But yeah, like okay. So yeah, that's what I had to say about all of that, I guess. You know, it's me learning that oh, so if I continue down this path, there's gonna be more grinding. It's like oh yeah, you speak my language in how to make me do things and not do things. But I still, anyways, so I'll see you guys. Uh, I have an idea. Okay, so let me explain my thoughts. Uh, so you got this town place, which is like super out of the way. And unlike both uh, Zipbu and Lombasa, um, like you, you don't just get immediately penalized for... Yeah, I don't know where to find myself in this mode, though. Like, it's kind of wild. I Like, I'm not sure where I am. Well, you know, like, like, there's this, so there's this one town, this one random town, where, uh, whoa, I don't know why that happened. Uh, where 
So one town you get beeped immediately, the other one you get thrown into sports, which is a lot of fun. But the third town lets you out, and then you get sent to beepification if, uh, you know, on, on, if you return. That has to be meaningful. Like, it just has to be. And uh, I think, and, I, and I've got another out of the game clue. Like, this is out of the game, but, but I think it's meaningful. So, Mayo, who is the one who proposed me to play this game in the first place, by the way, it's worth saying. Um, at some point, yeah, like again, like I said, like I'm, I'm finding it hard to find myself in this mode because I'm not used to it. He tagged a scene in my the, the long video where um, and he said remember this and it's when I was talking to the guy and instead of painting I was like destroying chunks of the wall and so like yesterday during the afternoon like I was sort of thinking to myself okay so let's say that there's something special I can do at that one place at, 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 at the place where there's that one, there's, there's, you know, that one town where, um... Is there not a door here? Well, there's gonna be. <laughs> okay, and I wanna go to here. Like, because, like, the, the things that I'm allowed to do while inside an enclave are... extremely limited. But that's one thing I could do that I had not considered yet is precisely that destroy a wall if I'm at the right cycle. It's kind of like the one thing I can do other than like make choices in like dialogues and stuff. And uh, I, that's the bomb. And I think that is extremely valid to check out. It's basically my one lead, but I'm it's a lead I'm pretty confident in. So uh, see you guys there, assuming I don't get killed on the way. Whoa, that's just a van. Rude. And it, like, super destroyed me for some reason? Like, what happened to my health? Okay, is it, like, here? Yeah, and it's, like, really weird to get there. Which, I mean, you just kind of go here. Very weird to get there. Okay, there's probably... Oh, there's the road is on the other side. That's why. You know what? That's... Uh, yeah, I'm t I, this is the path I take to avoid other drivers. Uh, just tiny hop, tiny hop, tinier hop. Alright, so... Welcome to this place, eventually. No? Okay, I'll try again. Welcome to this... Yeah, yeah, here we go! Okay. And if I don't do anything, I'm not booted. He's just like, whoa, 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 whoa. So, you know, what I can do is limited. I can play around with these things here, I can paint walls, and I can stop. So what if I just wait, and I just wait until we do to a cycle where I can just randomly break things? Is that, is like, I'm just wondering if that is just it? And you can like, steal his citizenship? Well, probably not his. It's the feeling I get. So let's just wait. But yeah, like I don't mind restarting from like the initial save because I've always said in a lot of series I've played, you know, the the first thing is the canon one. Like my first run through the game is the canon run, so to speak. It's the canon story. So I think it's appropriate for me to go back to the original save where I got Biba Fine the first time. But I just, I felt like there was a challenge to unmask, and I, no regret, but yeah, it's fine. I'm not trying to convince anyone here in the audience, by the way, I'm mostly saying this to myself. Oh, that's interesting, so, so when I got this game open, like, this opens up a command prompt, like, behind, behind the game, because it's an old game, I guess. It's kind of fun because, like, you can see here at some point it said VRT map, Kong Kong, analyze Eni, uh, space, the chain slash fostral slash world dot Eni, 
And here later on, I'm at analyze any space the chain slash glorks slash world dot any. Just like in plain text, it's kind of funny. I don't know. I don't really think it's funny. Is it? I think it is. I think it's am it's amusing. Oh yeah, and I can see when it auto saves because that uh, three times says ice cream dispatcher Colin Colin save data. Oh, and recycle. Look at that. That is so cool. I wonder if you can do that in uh, Frostal too. Just like mess up with your counselor's like habitats. And like, just destroy their walls. It seems kind of mean thing to do. How deep can you destroy? There's a limit to it, it looks like. Like, he's not saying anything. It's not like he can. Huh. But I, can you go deeper than that? Like, I'm not seeing anything. Was I mistaken? I mean, yeah, so I can destroy, like, stuff. But, like, I'm not getting anything out of it, feels like. Oh, man, so am I wrong? I guess I'm wrong. So I was so confident about the ability to, like, steal something from digging out uh, this guy's walls, but... Like, you could tell the absolute confidence. But, uh, no. I wonder if you could do this at another enclave, though. Oh, do you think you can do that at the initial one, actually? Like, at the first one where you get it, for, for, like, where you just get it. But I think you get bebified as soon as you get in there, so that wouldn't work. Unless you were able to just pick it up, I don't know. Alright, I didn't figure it out. I... I, I I feel like I'm close, but... This is neat, though. But yeah, like, I just... There's there's nothing. There's, there's nothing for me to pick up. There's, there's, there's nothing here. I can go to the trade screen. I can't dig things here. Ooh, I can see what they have for, for offer. Well, I know what they have for offer. Where's here? It's not letting me go there. That's interesting. But, yeah, no. Ah, oh, man, I'm disappointed. I'm gonna dig you up. In your eyeball. Alright, well. That's what I thought you had to do. I'm wrong. That's all there is to it, really. Okay, well, this is a really weird anti-climax of an episode, but, uh... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, next time... Next time, I start my life as a bean boy.